breaking news welcome to today's headline unam the kanu trial owan is the youth accuses security agencies of stripping ido women naked demand apology unam the kanu trial Owane is a youth accuses security agencies of stripping Igbo women naked demand apology So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as I read to this news The Owane is a Indigo Youth Council OIC as accused Nigerian security legends of stripping naked and manhandling Igbo women who came to show their solidarity with Unam Dekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOL, at the Federal High Court Abuja on Wednesday. The group demanded an apology from security agencies for the alleged assault it described the actions of the security personnel as sacrilegious noting that they smacked of hatred for the igbo people the youth also alleged that security agencies watch them and do nothing as igbo people and their businesses are attacked across the country the group in a statement signed by its national president comrade ido ayaka o ido ayaka titled unam dikanu's case security legends assault ido women eat them with ak47 rifle weapons o and is a youth accused the security agencies of being behind the crisis in southeast to destroy the region he regretted that the country is fast becoming a banana republic where the dignity of human life is easily reduced to nothing while violation of human rights is the order of the day in the hands of security operatives He said the Igbo women and mothers who stood about 1 km away from the federal high court close to Blue Springs Hotel Abuja became object of security brutality when the troops of Nigerian security legend spread tear gas on the aged mothers marched the women on the ground while hitting them with guns and left them with bruises because they were Igbos In the process some of the women were stripped naked by security men This is completely unacceptable A taboo to womanhood and a slap at the dignity of Nigerian women This adds to the series of anti-social reasons why Nigeria is counted among the unsafe places to live in the world The behavior of security personnel on Igbo women today is a challenge to women groups, the National Assembly and the global community. People have a right to movement and association. But the case of Nigeria is fast becoming different. Nigeria is drifting into a state of lawlessness. where fundamental human rights are seriously abused especially by security agents and this treason accounts for why Nigeria is leading in abuse of human rights violation globally the youth group however called on the international human rights watch 
Amnesty International and all the global human rights community to beam their searchlight on the ugly events in Nigeria, especially the ongoing killings in the Southeast. The group lamented the intimidation, marginalization, injustice, and human rights abuses against Indido, identifying them as some of the issues that led to the quest for secession. It said, instead of improving the situation, the Nigerian government has worsened it and pushed the country to a state of near collapse. The Owaneze Indibo Youth Council, OIC, has accused Nigerian security legends of stripping naked and manhandling Igbo women who came to show their solidarity with Unam Dekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, at the Federal High Court, Abuja, on Wednesday. The group demand an apology from security legends, from security agencies for the alleged assault. It described the actions of the security personnel as sacrilegious, noting the smack of hatred for the Igbo people. The youth also alleged that security agencies watched them and do nothing as Igbo people and their businesses are attacked across the country. The group, in a statement signed by its national president, Comrade Iduayaka O Iduayaka, titled Unam Dikanu's case, security legends assault Igbo women, hit them with AK 47 rifle weapons, or a youth accused the security agencies of being behind the crisis in Southeast to destroy the region. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what you